After one Scottsdale family lost their son to a rare genetic disease, they decided to team up with the Translational Genomics Research Institute to try to speed up finding a cure. Neiman Pick, a rare genetic disease in children that affects many systems in the body. Uh, at their root cause, they have a change in their DNA blueprint that affects an enzyme, something in your body that metabolizes the things that we eat, for example, into other chemicals. And the defect in that enzyme forces the buildup of something that's very toxic to the kids, and that ends up in uh, eventually death for the kids. This was the case for the LaFoon family, whose son Wilder died from Neiman Pick. He was never able to walk or talk, but he could sit up at one point, he'd laugh, he'd smile. After Wilder's death, the LaFoons established the Wilder Nation Foundation to try to find a cure more quickly. The mission is to improve the lives of children diagnosed with these rare diseases like lysosomal storage disorders. Um, and provide hope by accelerating the discovery and development of treatment options. One of the ways they are doing this is by providing funding for a new research initiative at TGen. By looking at a population of people suffering from Neiman Pick Type B and who have the same genetic cause of the disease, Huddleman and the researchers at TGen hope to find ways to attack Neiman Pick and improve the lives of the people who have it. But what's interesting is that they have different uh, intensities of their disease, so some of them are very fast progressing and some of them are very slow progressing. So if we can't find a cure for the disease, we'd like to push patients into the slow progressing side of the disease. And while research is ongoing, the LaFoons want to provide encouragement to other families dealing with this disease. It's hard. A day-to-day -day basis, it's a really hard journey. So that would probably be my, my advice to parents is just not, don't lose the faith and don't lose the hope. Just stick with it. The Wilder Nation Foundation website has information on 50 known lysosomal storage disorders and provides resources for anyone looking to become involved in their fight.